Hello everyone. In the last class we discussed about singly excited magnetic system. Now in this lecture we will discuss about doubly excited system or multiple excited system. Okay, singly excited system means in a magnetic system if there is a single source or single excited system then that is called singly excited system. So see here see here there is a single source so this is a single excited system now we will discuss about double excited system this is a double excited magnetic system first of all what is our aim in this system we have to find the developed torque so see here there is a torque parameter so if we apply it electrical energy to this system then there will be a mechanical energy developed in the system so how much torque will be developed in the system so we will find the torque equation before going to that we need to know that what is double excited system if a magnetic system consists two sources if a magnetic system consists two sources see here that is source 1 this is source 2 these two are the electrical sources or excitation systems so if a system consists of two magnetic two excitations then that is called doubly excited magnetic system so this source is for coil 1 second source is for coil 2 and one more important point is coil 1 is stationary coil and coil 2 is mobile coil or rotating coil so there is a developed angular velocity that is theta so now what I am saying is this system consists two electrical inputs those are V1 I1 and V2 I2. So these are the input parameters. So V1 V2 are the two sources or two excitations. So input parameters are V1 I1 V2 I2. Now this system uh, mechanical parameters are tau and theta. And one more important point is now we will assume this is a lossless magnetic system okay let us consider this is a lossless magnetic system then what happens the energy balance equation what happens the energy balance equation is dw input is electrical is equal to mechanical output so dw mac plus so input is equal to output plus losses dw losses plus plus dw field so how much energy stored in the system that is the stored energy system is called field energy stored energy is called field energy so already we know that the there are no losses in a system because of we are considering that there is a lossless magnetic system so this term will be zero then the resultant equation is dw electrical is equal to dw mechanical plus dw field right this is the equation resultant equation but our aim is to find the torque equation before finding the torque equation we need to find the stored energy in a system stored energy means field energy okay got it so stored energy in a magnetic system means stored the field energy field energy is called a stored energy right now see here equation number one field energy is equal to what happens electrical minus mechanical from the above equation let us consider this is equation number one now find out the electrical energy and again find out the mechanical energy then we need to subtract these two energies to get the field energy right now electrical energy so in the single excited system we already know that how to find the electrical energy so when we found that electrical energy is equal to i d psi for a single system if there are two systems i1 d psi1 i2 d psi2 but see here there is a third parameter what is this m d psi1 d psi2 how we get it this uh, term because of the mutual inductance if there are two coils then there will be a mutual inductance will appear in that system see here there are two coils coil 1 coil 2 so this coil 1 consists of some flux coil 2 also consisting some flux 
so these two fluxes will interact each other then we, there will be appear a new term that is mutual inductance term that is indicated by capital m first of all what do we mean by mutual inductance if the second coil is disturbed or interfered with the coil 1 then that is called how much flux is interact with the second coil that is called mutual inductance if the second coil flux will touch to the first coil how much amount of flux is interacted or inter interfered with the coil 1 that is called mutual inductance so what i am saying is if there are two coils are nearby uh, nearby placed then there will be a new term included that is the mutual inductance term capital m so that is indicated here capital m into so for from coil 1 d psi 1 from coil 2 d psi 2 this is the total electrical energy equation let us consider it is a second equation now we have to find the mechanical energy equation we know that the mechanical parameters are tau and d theta tau means torque developed in the system d theta theta is the angular velocity so tau into d theta is the mechanical energy let us consider this is also third equation now subtract these two equations 2 and 3 or substitute the equation 2 and 3 in equation 1 then we will get field energy is equal to i d psi 1 plus i to d psi 2 plus m d psi 1 d psi 2 minus tau d theta this is the equation 4 okay so finally we get the field energy equation in terms of mechanical and electrical energies now our final aim is to find the tor torque equation okay so to find torque equation we need to compare this field energy equation number 4 with the mathematical equation okay what do you mean by mathematical equation i will tell you clearly don't worry so this double axis system consists or in a function of is a function of flux linkage is primary flux linkage is psi 1 secondary flux linkage is psi 2 angular displacement d theta see here in this equation d psi 1 d psi 2 d theta are the functions parameters so this complete field system is in in, in terms of or in the function of these parameters so if there are three parameters the mathematical expression can be written as equation number 5 if there is a system then do w field by do psi into d psi so primary flux linkages are psi 1 so second parameter d psi 2 third parameter d theta so we can write the mathematical expression like this now compare equation number 4 with the equation number 5 see here in the in the place of d psi 1 compare this d psi 1 with the d this d psi 1 then in the place of in the place of i1 in the place of i1 in the place of i1 what is here do w field do w field divided by do psi 1 so now i can write by comparing these two equations i1 is equal to i2 is equal to and last one tau is equal to so we want this torque equation right so okay to find torque equation we need to derivative okay we need to derivate this field energy with the d do theta so now let us assume the mechanical output is zero let us assume mechanical output is zero so come to the equation number 4 so mechanical energy zero means this is this term is zero so from equation 4 dw field is equal to i1 d psi 1 plus i2 d psi 2 m d psi 1 d psi 2 so do w field is equal to so here m d psi 1 d psi 2 so let us let us neglect temporarily this term then we will include this term in the final equation so now integrate likewise in the single axis system integrate the double field energy equation with that in terms of psi okay now w field is equal to 0 to psi 1 i d psi 1 i 2 d psi 2 we know that 
i is equal to psi by l so we can replace i1 by the psi1 by l1 psi2 by l2 now we integrate with the d, uh, now integrate the psi1 so integration of x is equal to x square by 2 now 1 by l1 psi1 means psi1 square by 2 plus 1 by l2 psi2 square by 2 next 1 by 2 psi1 means psi is equal to il so psi1 means i is i1 l1 so in the place of psi1 l1 i1 square by l1 plus 1 by 2 i2 square l2 by l2 i1 square l1 square i2 square l2 square now let us cancel the l2 parameter l2 l2 l1 l1 then here i1 square 1 l1 will be there so 1 by 2 will be take common l1 i1 square plus l2 i2 square is the final field energy field energy equation so coming to the equation number 5 so we know that from this equation 5 we get the torque equation so in this torque equation we need some field energy equation so we found that field energy is equal to 1 by 2 l1 i1 square plus l2 i2 square but we need to include the mutual inductance also because of the double exit system uh, so we have to consider the effect of mutual inductance then the magnetic system energy field energy is becomes 1 by l1 i1 square plus l2 i2 square plus m i1 i2 so now substitute field energy w field in the place of torque equation right now tau is equal to 1 by 2 i1 square l1 means it will be partial derivative dou by dou theta into l1 right uh, dou l2 by dou theta mutual inductance dou m by dou theta here i1 i2 are the constants so l1 l2 m inductance parameters are the variables this is the final torque equation for double exit system i hope you can understand this magnetic system that means determined to determine the field energy and torque equation of a double exit magnetic system if you need this material please comment to your mail id then i will send to your mail thank you guys thank you very much